Hello there and welcome to my second video about Vexus. This uh, second video is going to introduce you to a second type of pro problem where you actually have to work out half of the distance. So here I've got the letter D and letter D is in between C and B and what we're going to have to find out is what the vector is from D to A. So how are we going to do that? Well, if we didn't have if we didn't have have this midpoint here, and we're trying to get from B to C to A, what would we do? Well, first of all, you would find out the vector from B to C. So how would you do that? Well, one way of getting from remember you can only use vectors which you already know so you can s and I should have said this at the start but as you can see from A to B it's using the vector X and from A to C the vector is represented by Y so if we want to get to B to C we can see we have to go negative X because X represents the vector B to A but we're going so that vector represents A to B. However, we we want to go the opposite direction and go from B to A. So our first step along the journey is minus x. And so going from B to A. And now we want to go from A to C. And that's simply using the vector y, the positive y. And we shall place that at the front here just because it it looks neater to keep where possible the minus numbers not at the start of the, the expression. So now I've got from now we need the expression B to C. So if we want to go upwards because where our vector is going upwards, how do we get from D to C? Very simple, isn't it? It's half a half a distance, so the vector is going to be half. So it's uh, 0 0.5, one half times y minus x equals d to c. And you can probably see where this is going now. So now I've got from d, and I've got to c. I need to get to A. So simply, it will be minus Y. So as you can rem remember, A to C is Y, but we want to go from C to A, so it's the opposite direction. So we'll be in the minus directions. So minus Y. So from D to A, first step is half Y take away X. And then we take away y. Now, if I just write the expression here, you can see that. See that, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, I think you can. Um, we'll just write this expression here, where we have some more space. And normally, in a maths exam, they will ask you to simplify this expression. And it's a good idea to simplify it anyway, because if you're going on to even more complex um, questions you often have to use this expression to work out another another vector so it makes it a lot easier by simplifying it so to simplify it, simplify it we um, expand out the brackets so you get half of y take away half of x minus y so we can um we can take away the y from the half y and that's going to equal minus a half y because you've got positive a half y you go one whole y in a different direction and you get yeah you get minus half y so you get minus half y take away 
minus half x. And you can simplify this even further. It's minus minus half multiplied by y plus x. And I've done the plus x because we're multiplying it by multiplying it by negative, it will make it make it a negative as we have in our expression here. So a final answer for the question is d to a is equal to minus minus half multiplied by y plus x or y plus x multiplied by minus a half. You can sort of see see um, how it works if we go uh, I'll use this one just because it's easiest we go minus a half down I just like visually visually try and show you it's not going to be entirely accurate but say we go minus a half we'll reach there and as you can notice we are sort of in the you can see we're in the middle of uh, x uh, middle of the uh, sorry I apologize for that sudden pause in the video I only have a small memory card in my camera at the moment and it's recording in 720p so you imagine I don't really have much time to uh, record things so as you can imagine I sort of get carried away sometimes and forget to check the time so anyway as we notice we go from d minus minus half of y and we will end up exactly half of uh, exactly half of the way between a and b and then we just go half of x in this direction because we're going minus x because x is that way and we're going that way so that that's just proof that this this vector works and it works because we're using algebra and algebra works because we balance each side and it's simple maths so essentially when you're finding vectors you can you can basically go anywhere like you could go along here along here and still end up at the same place because they all add up and take away from each other it's like you can go it's like x say you had the vector or algebraic expression of a vector x minus x and that would cancel each out cancel it out and you'd be going nowhere because you'd be going x x so what I would advise you is just to play about with vectors and perhaps get some triangle paper and practice going from one place to another and whatever way you get from whatever whatever way you get from place A to B you always have the same vector as if you went a slightly different way because the vectors add and, add and subtract away from each other but anyway thank you for watching this video on vectors I shall be uploading some more videos with some more with some harder harder as other problems to solve so I'd recommend pausing these videos when I've said the problem so perhaps try and work out for yourself and then continue watching the video and see if you come up with the same answer as I do um, if you have any comments about my video uh, feel free to leave a comment or send me a private message and that, I'd really appreciate that because it will be telling me how I can improve my videos. If this video helped you in any way with your maths, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It's just a way of saying thanks and we'd really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.